Hey guys, and welcome back to Spooky and Bald Mage with your host Banto. Today we will continue where we last ended with our Ember Mage. We will continue at Act 1, smash some dangerous and fearsome mobs. So let's get on guys. We are gonna try to search for some fame quests so we can get more fame XP and normal XP so we can improve our character. Actually, I have some skills and stats points to get out, so let's put out even more focus for more mana, more magic damage. So here we actually have a new spell. You hurl three goats of flame, they ignite the ground for three seconds and sometimes ca causes foe to stumble in panic as they burn. So I'm actually gonna try this spell out. As you see, I'm not gonna put it here, I'm gonna put it uh, on my number 3, I think. I'm gonna try this out on some enemies. So let's find some little, little mobs. Only rocks here. So as you see, I hurl away three balls that explodes and causes some random fears as well as you see they are running away. So this thing could probably be very useful. Instead of like freezing people down to slow them, you could like throw this and make them run away in fear. That way they cannot reach you. This guy was kinda dangerous. This is a champion, a mage. Just like we we are a mage and he was a mage so it was actually very useful and it causes a burn as well. You see, fire damage of 2 seconds, movement speed reduction, so it actually always slows down the enemy. And a super low chance to make the targets flee. 1% for rank 1 in that ability. But you see, it could be very useful when it's big masses of enemies. Just explode between every one of those and get them all burning at the same time. But we are gonna head back down here again, I think. I really love this shoulder shoulder armors as well compared to a lot of games. Like adding this cloth above the shoulder. I think it looks really good. Instead of this just huge huge metal shoulders. That can actually be also cool but it's fun to see some uh, different tries on making some shoulder armor. These slows can be really 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 dangerous. Just making them all burn. Burn to hell. So these ain't too hard. This can actually be some kind of dungeon down there. I've been in one place like this with those uh, faces. You could like actually walk into like a cave that was hidden. That's not really anything that showed that there was one there. One thing to keep in mind with this uh, ball I'm hurling here, it's a cooldown on it compared to the magma spear that do not have a real cooldown. You can spam that out, but this one actually got a cooldown. So you can always throw it and then shoot some in between. So he's burning up them all. Trying to get a lot of XP so we can get in uh, phase with the main quests here. Trying to find some nice fame quests. These guys kind of really remembers like of the Diablo 3. There were some kind of tentacle mouth uh, mobs there as well. That could be real dangerous as you see there when I'm closing. Yes, get them all. You see, it's tons of tick damage, the dot damage. Before, I did not really like dot damage when I played World of Warcraft very long ago. I thought this was really boring, but lately, when I'm playing a lot of games, I actually went to, to, into a lot of dot damage with a lot of uh, different games. And mostly with all my characters so far in Torchlight 2, I try to max out, like, be very powerful passively. And uh, for Outlander, I think it worked really good. But some, because 
some passives do not work with some uh, active uh, spells that you got like some abilities you can use won't work with those passive buffs that's something i'm also gonna go through so you won't waste points in your skills for nothing that won't improve at all just gonna send some sweet stuff over to our little pet here it's gonna go back to town and sell us some stuff you always get a lot of this trash thing but at least it gives you tons of mana uh, I, oh i was so into mana because one item there gives you tons of um, gold so it's not really such a waste anyway i think we can go for this and even oh can't use it yet here we get one thing before yesterday i forgot to show it it's uh, one special unique tag for my pet it could be very useful it has to be level 16 though so it's not possible yet Did you need as you see here we finished down on fame quest you can find this fame quest like uh, in this situation i have to save him and when i save him you will get rewards in act 2 there are a lot of those let's see what we're gonna get here It wasn't really anything that I wanted from him. And uh, you see those wands? I'm not using wands, but wands work very different than uh, staves. As you see my stave here, if I would attack with the actual stave or staff, I would hit just like when you're hitting with uh, a normal melee weapon, like a sword or a mace or anything. But if you use a wand, you actually shoot spells. And every wand have different kinds of uh, attacks. So this one deals a lot of uh, poison damage. But you see this one also? It's got fire damage and electric, but this, this weapon hits from melee. And the other one shoots away a spell. I think there's actually one optional fame quest in here. So we're gonna go in and check out. And also, I want to tell you guys that there are other games that gets new episodes soon. I'm gonna make more episodes on Terraria, which is a game very similar to the Minecraft. If you have never tried it, it's uh, very similar, but in 2D. There's a lot of like exploration if you... Minecraft is mainly like building and trying out different things. Terraria, you can like also go and build a lot of stuff, but main thing i think in terraria is actually exploring the adventure you find so many things when you go going lower and lower down and you can even find some special things above the ground as well which i'm not gonna tell now that's something that will be shown in the terraria episodes that game is actually very cheap so if you feel like trying out you can check my old episode and my upcoming episode and it's so cheap so it's really worth it I don't really know with this place here, there are like houses you can destroy, but I do not know if you actually get some reward for it. Maybe I always missed one of those uh, houses. So here down, this is actually one of the main quests. We will uh, we're gonna try to get one of those ember keys. There are a lot of items in this. One thing that's very good has been, become a standard since I think it's Mythos or one game called Fate or something before Mythos. The, that was the same people that made this. But one thing that's become standard also in Diablo 3 is that the loot that is on the ground is your loot. In the old games, every old Diablo and so on and Dungeon Siege, it was just a, uh, oh, that's mine, that's mine, what did you get? And there's a lot of slowdown in the gameplay because of it. But of course, you can trade with each other. But if you are in multiplayer, keep in mind when you're gonna trade, you can't just put it on the ground. You have to actually go into trade, right click the icon for that player's, and then choose to trade. A lot of people went in and just dropped them on the ground. I watched some on the TGN as well when they were playing. I was like, hey, they are doing that wrong, but yeah, they figured it out kinda fast. Because everything that is on the ground are your items, no one else. That even uh, 
go for the things that you put on the ground, so it's not only the drops. So these two bandit guys was kind of easy to destroy, to be honest. Was not that hard. Was a lot harder when I was here on uh, veteran mode. I might might even do an uh, playlist for you guys later with one class. I'm not gonna sure what class it's gonna be, but it's gonna be a gameplay with the hardcore mode. We will go as long as we can without dying. And if we some reason will die, yeah, probably start a new playlist for a new try. But that's something that will come and you can actually put a comment what class if you want to see in hardcore mode that I'm gonna play. Do you want me to go in normal hardcore mode, veteran hardcore mode, what the uh, default kid, default, oh yeah, like normal mode, I can't uh, really say it what it's called right now, but what the mode do you want me to go in hardcore mode? So just put like what mode and uh, what class you would uh, like to see me playing there. I will take that in mind if there are a lot of people saying the same. I will definitely go for that class and show you some hardcore gaming. If for people who do not know what hardcore means, it's like this. If your character dies, he's dead, he's gone. That exists in the Diablo as well. That could be really fun, but if you die, it can be really frustrating, but it really make you slow down a bit and be more careful what you're doing. So if you want to be more serious while playing and really take care and like really try to play good and not just run in do do ding ding you should really like try to go and try a hardcore mode and if you don't want to totally ruin your character when you die, you can always go veteran or the other mode that is over. I think it's called elite or something. I don't get actually where the... Didn't I pick up the key before? We got some kind of potion here. Not sure what we're gonna have this for, but... Probably something. Yeah, that guy, as he said, he can enchant your gear. But when you get up very high, it will cost tons. So this was the thing that we was gonna use it for. Are coming bats, shooting at us, raining down stuff. But we did not actually get the key. I totally missed something or something is bugging out. As far as I know it says acquire the pass key of ember at the slayers to cage. We are there. So where is it? Is some some box here I'm, I've missed or something? Hmm. Where are you hiding from me? Well, do he have it? No. Let's walk out from this place and walk in again. I do not know if it's a bug or what it is. I thought that those uh, guys before dropped it, or maybe I even have it. Yes, yeah, stupid, if it have not changed, I'm gonna go and check out. I do not think I can actually see that in my inventory. I actually think I got it for some reason, guys. If you go down there and you notice that though, it still says acquire the key. As you see, I probably already got it because it's no sh not showing any star and stars mean that you're gonna go there and since it's not showing, I probably got it because it was a star there before and now it's no star. So let's head out to this other place here. Also, I think I'm gonna try to make a longer episode of Torchlight 2 because I think it's too short to actually show like 10-15 minutes. So latest episode is being close to 20 minutes, but 
upcoming ones will be even longer. I'm thinking about doing 30 minutes episodes at least for you guys. To really show the gameplay. And some other games coming up to my channel in the future will also be Borderlands 2, Civilization 5, maybe even Crusader Kings 2, which is a very good game. And maybe even some Total War. I'm a lot into those, actually those more, which I would call more serious games. And one thing I might show some videos on later is as well EVE Online, which is a lovely MMO. It's definitely one of the best I ever played. The dev team on that game are so excellent. They are all so into making their game special. It's so, like, they do not really have so many players. But every player on that game is actually on the same server. So it's a very, very good server, like... You play with the people from United States, even if you are in Europe, and it's still like no latency, it's probably some kind of... If you play League of Legends, like, you, you move, you see directly when you move, but you have not actually moved, but it seems to work very good in that game. That game got the step learning curve, and so on, but I might show some videos on that later, there are very many different ways to go into that. I played very many dim uh, different MMOs in uh, my gaming times. But they take a lot of time to play and get used to and learn them, so it's not for everyone to be honest. But anyway, we can continue and smash this little, little mubby mubby. We're actually reaching this ember scratch mine. This is actually a very dangerous place. This place, if you would be at least on hardcore mode, be safe in here, because this place can get really nasty. You see, short information there in the loading screen about the staffs and the wands. So we're just gonna throw in some... One thing that's very good with the Ember Mage and the other ranged classes is that you can try to like, stand out of the way, while if you're playing like an... Uh, Engineer or a Berserker, you mostly have to be right in the combat, but that's something that a lot of people enjoy as well. But with these classes, you can actually stay out of the way, run around tactically. One thing that I found with very useful if you're playing with a shield, at least with the Berserker when I tried it, was to use a shield to reduce the knockback that you get from uh, the enemies. You can increase that in other ways as well, but the shield. The standard thing with shield increases your knockback your resistance a lot, so... And we've got a plunger here, and you can explode some places uh, that are placed out with those plungers. And there are some nice chests behind. But it's not actually a quest, so it's an optional thing, but why not do it when you get them, so... You only really earn on it. There's a lot of small dudes going on here. There, I experienced one of the, in my opinion, bad parts about this game. For some reason, the hit uh, radius around the enemies are so huge, I could not move there because of it. I do not know if it's possible to change in any way. But it would be really sweet if it was possible to customize it, so it's more actually exactly a round character, or at least smaller. I'm actually gonna show how big it is for you guys, so you... We'll see what I mean. I this could be real frustrating, you can die and everything and if by it. If you're playing like I play now on this difficulty, it's probably not so so critical. But if you're playing hardcore mode, I definitely know that you do not want to die by those things. If you're gonna die, you're gonna die with the honor. Cause you was trying to really kick ass and not that the game failed you. So, I'm gonna show you this little guy, you see, he's kinda big around it, I'm not even close to him. So that can make, like I'm trying to go, go around there. I actually start hitting him, and if they are above you at the sides like it was before there, it would be a problem because you can't actually move, because you're trying to hit something that you can't reach. And if you're too close to the border, you won't be able to shoot your spell up there either. As you see, I, with this sweet amount of dot damage that I got at the moment, you can really bring down enemies really fast and still like be on the safe side. 
So we are actually gonna go get some gold. If you go to the town and you send your pet, you will automatically, of course, get all the gold that it was gaining from the seller that you sent. Now we're definitely gonna get this firebrand, which increases your fire damage when an enemy is burning. And that's something we're definitely gonna get up a lot, because we are going a lot into fire. This is the enchanter. I'm gonna show you how to enchant. So just put any item you have here, any item at all. That's the cost, and this is the maximum enchant that this dude can do. I think the maximum is 5 enchantments, but when it gets up to 3-4, it starts to get really expensive. But let's enchant that. And as you see, I get 1. Enchantment 1, 3% electric damage, and if you want to remove 1 enchantment, just click this, and it costs, it costs more than enchanting it, so let's enchant it again. 5 fire damage, that was kind of good. So you can shunt all gears, even the gears on the pet as well. But that we're not gonna do now, we are gonna go in here and sell some stuff that we are not gonna use. That head could actually be kinda good. Now I'm gonna go for that mana. I like to be able to actually shoot my spells all the time. Here we get an upgrade for that because it gives more and more in other things as well. We never sell these things, those can always be useful to place. I'm gonna see if I have one of those for fire damage and put it in there, I'm not sure if I have that. But we are gonna sell a lot of this stuff, this junk stuff. I'm actually going for that for the focus. Not using any shields. I'm not gonna use this either, we're gonna save this for later and this we're gonna put in our chests. So this is the shared stash, it's shared between all your characters when playing, so I have a lot of stuff here. And this chest is only for this character, so we're gonna put in some stuff here. We have some fire, 7 fire damage for our staff, since we are a fire mage, it could be very useful. So let's place this in here for later use. Some crap there that I have forgot to sell and misplaced, so let's head back down and fight these evil, evil mobs. So what are your thoughts about this game so far? What's, what would you say about it compared to Diablo 3? Would you say you enjoy this more or do you enjoy Diablo 3 more? And one thing that I think is real good with Torchlight 2 compared to Torchlight 1 is that the graphics has improved a lot. It do not look as, I don't know if you're gonna call it childish, but do not look as unserious as the Torchlight 1. This looks way more uh, well done to be honest. And I really enjoy this graphics. This kind of style has really grown with a lot of games like World of Warcraft and other games. It's been used in so many different games nowadays. Really reminds of War World of Warcraft, League of Legends, and Dota even got some kind of similar one, but it's a bit more realistic. It looks like like art you just painted and used in the game, and it really looks so sweet. And here you actually see the planger, so we're gonna explode this one as well. Boom. Nice chests. And some orange named item, that could be interesting. But we are gonna pwn these enemies first so they do not start and hit us in the back. Oh, mysterious staff. What can it be? Whoa, that gave a lot of things. We lose fire damage, we got one socket spot. Cast speed decrease. But we get so many things, and if you check, it gives electric damage, fire damage, ice, poison. Definitely gonna use that. And sadly, we put it in here at the gem, but sadly, or good thing, is that we can remove gems. But that's something I will show later for you guys. But you can do that, so don't fear it too much. Whoa, this staff was really fast. I'm actually hitting it really hard in the melee combat. 
And there are actually some spells that exist in, for example, the fire tree, which are like melee spells. So you could probably be like a battle mage style thing in this game. This staff is really fast on attacking. Ooh, shooting down some crystals. Those are the ones that you mine in StarCraft 2. And also guys should really expect some for the future on uh, Dota 2 which is a game I played Dota 1 for I think 7 or 8 years or something. That is a really great game. But it takes a lot of time so if you're in game you can't leave. Actually can leave but I never do that because that is so stupid to everyone else who's playing. I do not like to see other leaving when I'm in a game so I won't do that against them since I'm against it. I will never do that. That's just so stupid. And it's getting really... Getting out of beta soon I think. A lot of heroes have been added and my favorite hero has been added as well. Meppo the Geomancer which is a very cool character. I really loved him in Dota 1. No one can escape and you just bash him down. And of course Pudge is one of my favorite heroes as well that I like to imitate. He do things like this. Fresh meat. Fresh meat. And uh, I said at an episode before I really enjoy making those sounds like other Warcraft sounds like I hope keep me wanted her. Yes my lord. As you command, my lord. Mm, same, same. Stop poking me! Mm. Yes, that's my lame sound. But I really enjoy making different sounds. Oh, we're fighting King Pog here. So this is some big guy that looks like he's have Santa's hat. He killed you, Santa. He's gonna go down so hard. Who told that you was... Was, you should not be allowed to kill Santa because I will not get any presents. Oh, we actually are out of health potions. We should be careful now. Stay away from danger. That's what the fire spec is useful for. Dotting down, run around like you see I'm doing right now. Stay out of trouble. As you see, I'm shooting this and this because they both do uh, fire burning damage. So actually, got him down with out on uh, the help of health potions. So if you just focus a bit more, you do not even need so much health potion to be honest. Even with this squishy guy, with some characters on normal mode at the beginning at least, you can at least. Be sure to go like with Engineer, you can definitely go without even using potions because they get one uh, robot that really like goes and heals you, which is very cool. Oh, some orange item, nice, we get a suckable orange item. And some nice helmet. Finally we get some nice belt because we had a really crappy belt. What we have... I think we have actually missed the key up here. No, it's just this detonator, but... This is like one of those so-called secret rooms. You see, it's not actually on the map. Which always have some sweet rewards. So, who do not want those extra chests, I mean? Really good to have, and let's put out some more. We can have that for more fire damage, more focus. It looks kind of stupid, maybe that I'm going so a lot into focus, but I really like, want to bounce up my fire spell damage a lot. So, we're just gonna leave through this little gate here. Do not seem to be any other shits left for us. As you see, the C key will drink your best health potion, X key will drink your best mana potions. We 
are gonna... Yeah, this will be the end, guys, actually, of this episode. If you love watching Banto the Bold Mage with his pet Spooky, the crazy dude, then you should really go up and subscribe to my channel, because I would produce a lot of more Torchlight 2 episodes of gameplay, tutorials and other things, and a lot of other games that I talked about in this video. So, thanks for watching guys, and take care, this is Banto and Spooky. Take care. Goodbye guys.